must be one of the missing alternate items. Wait, how did I get back here? What is this thing's deal? Alter, I need to worry about. Easy peasy. Someone needs help over there. I'm here. What happened to you? I got in a little scrap. Name's Horowitz. I... Oh! Ah! Is he gonna be okay? Don't look at me like that. I'm fine. But Wells is still in there. You gotta get him out. Who's Wells? My squad mate. We were hunting a runaway altered item. We followed it down into the clocks. The clocks? A threshold. The Bureau sealed it up years back because of all the clocks. We, w we followed the altered item inside, but... The way it was acting, we weren't ready. Me and Wells were the only ones to make it to the motel court. He was right behind me, but he never showed up on this side. I'll go find him. But first, you need to get to a medic. Wells is the medic. Please, you gotta get him out of there. I'll be fine, really. Rube can patch me up later. Fine. But I'll be back for you. I damn well hope so. <laughs> Just use the motel cord there. It should get you into the clocks. Sorry, the threshold. Are you Wells? Your friend asked me to come looking for you. That must be Horowitz. Glad he got out. I stayed back to help the others. Did a shit job of it, clearly. You tried. That's enough. Horowitz needs your help now. How do we get out of here? We should head back through the threshold. We can look for other survivors as we go. We better hurry. Which way? Just follow the blood. Let's go. What's with the clocks? Threshold effect. This used to be a regular office wing before the threshold manifested. The forces at play in there got a hold of someone's old clock and started duplicating. Now the office is abandoned and it's clocks all the way down. Something's wrong with him. Shit. Horowitz. Oh, God, no. You hit the I shocked the Wells. Make sure he's okay. I'm sorry about your friend. Thanks. And thanks for coming to get me. Horowitz's HRA must have been damaged in the threshold. Guy never put himself first. At least the anchor altered item is still locked away down in the clocks. I hope it rots down there. That altered item needs to be dealt with before it hurts anyone else. I should go back down and contain it. Head to the executive sector, Wells. They could use a medic. Thank you, Director. I'll go see what good I can do there. That's no normal piece of paper. Okay, 
found all those missing altered items. All of them? Wow, you have a gift, ma'am. But those weren't all of the altered items missing from the Panopticon. The hiss must be making them restless. We've had several more containment breaches. How many of these things did he lose? How many? Just a couple. Should be no problem for you. I really appreciate your help. Really, just super. Can I get a situation report for the sector? Whew, okay, uh, we still have to perform a proper inventory of the cells. Lord knows how many altered items snuck out during all this. Staffing, we definitely lost some people. Uh, gonna have to hit those college career fairs, am I right? Huh. Hard to imagine the FBC at job fairs. The hiss are still tearing up the place faster than we can fix it, but the containment sector is stable. Ish. Considering the alternative, I'm happy with stable-ish. Any thoughts on me serving as director? I know it was a sudden change. Oh, uh, no complaints so far. Trench was all secrets, lots of meetings behind closed doors. You seem much more approachable. But if I can give you some advice, ma'am, keep a grip on who you are. I've been here a long time, and I don't know if it's the job or this place, but people change here, and not for the better. I'll try to keep my head on straight. Will you stay on after things calm down, Langston? Are you asking if I'm quitting? Oh, no, ma'am. I'm not having some mid-level agent make a mess of my panopticon. Plus, I'm racking up serious overtime hours with this lockdown. Just don't take too long clearing out the hiss. My cat gets... separation anxiety. I'll do what I can. He must have gotten a pet sitter. I'll see you later, Langston. I'll be here. Like always. Altered item number 52AE analysis, session two. I will begin by introducing various stimuli to the item. First, a low voltage electric shock. No response. Next, I will introduce heat via a standard Bunsen burner. No response. Next, a series of solutions will be applied each with a different value on the pH scale, from 0 to 14. No response to any value. Next, I will attempt to communicate. Can you understand me? Can you understand my words? Quack! if you can understand my words. No response. This concludes session two. We'll need time to prepare further tests. Disappearing ducks. Great. This must be one of Langston's altered items. <sighs> Finally, no more quacking. Anything creepier than one mannequin is a few dozen of the damn things. New hero policy. No more mannequins.
this thing again. item on your list is now back in the Panopticon, safe and sound. That's a load off my mind. Missing altered items don't exactly reflect well on me, you know. Did they give you any trouble? The flamingo pulled me into the astral plane just like the fridge did. That same creature was there. Hmm. I was looking over the old activity reports, and multiple items have been displaying much more destructive behavior in the past few weeks. There's some connection there, I bet, but... That's a bit above my pay grade. Hmm. Well, something to keep an eye on. And if I have any more runaways, I'll know just who to call. I guess this is my life now. I'll see you later, Langston. I'll be here. Like always. Just checking each sector. I found this token. Any idea what it does? Ah. That is a jukebox token. Little bastards turn up in the weirdest places, like bad pennies. The rangers use them to activate an old object of power. A jukebox, I assume. Does it have any good songs? Nope, just the one record. Hey, be careful turning it on, though. When it's playing, you get a free trip to the formation. The formation? That sounds ominous. Why does it send you there? Well, the Bureau has been wondering that for years. I mean, it's just a pile of rocks built by God knows who, but... Well, researchers have confirmed it's in the same threshold as the quarry. No one's ever been able to map a physical route to the formation for maintenance. So it's in the quarry? You just don't know where? Pretty much. We only send in annual expeditions to the formation now. Checkups, Salvador calls them. This year's team went in the day the Hiss arrived. Come to think of it, the song should have rolled back hours ago. I can go in and take a look. I'd appreciate that. The jukebox is kept just past the security booth over there. Just put in the token and enjoy the ride. So, what's next for Simon Arish? Well, first off, I'm banning all slide projectors. That's it. <laughs> Seriously, though, we need to review our protocols. Research should not be making decisions that endanger the entire Bureau. No, fuck it. The entire fucking world without some serious oversight. I think Pope would agree. Certain people in the Bureau have been working in the shadows for too long. And I'd like to make these HRAs part of the mandatory Bureau uniform. They're not stylish, but better safe than sorry. I don't think anyone will complain. Not after this. What are your thoughts on me serving as director? <laughs> well, I couldn't be more excited. I mean, look, don't get me wrong, Trench was fine, but... Well, you pulled us back from the brink. Well, I'm honored to serve, ma'am. I mean, fuck, shit. Faden. Sorry. He'll get it one day. So, what's the situation in my bureau, Arish? The situation is we are still up to our eyes in his. Not to mention the months of repairs it's gonna take just to get this place up and running again. But is it doable? Of course it is. You just might need to tell some rangers to grab a wrench once they're done hunting his. Did anyone ever mention to you that Darling was using the slide projector? Well, Salvador never did, but um, I doubt he even knew. Look, I'm well aware that it's our job to study and contain the things that we don't understand, but well, some of the things that Darling did were way outside of our mission statement. Look, these things are not toys, and acting like they are is only ever gonna end one way. At least Pope seems to understand that. Well, it's secure now. No one can reach it without my say-so. But thank Christ for that. Marshall's been missing for a while now. Any ideas where she could be? The last time I saw her was in maintenance when I was leading the Rangers out of the Atlas. Yeah, I told her it wasn't safe, but she said she had to go check on something. Did you ask where she was going? Whew, Marshall is not the kind of person you question. <laughs> kind of intimidating, you know? 
But, uh, she was by herself. That helps at all. Not really, but thanks. Hopefully she turns up. I'll see you later. You know where I'll be. This is Lynn Salvador, head of Bureau Security. I'm making a formal security order due to the incident in April. Case number 21HQ593. Improper use of the jukebox altered item led to two fatalities. We believe a pair of agents used the jukebox to travel to the quarry threshold and engage in inappropriate workplace behavior. An expedition team found them decomposing at the formation's base a week later. At least we found out the jukebox doesn't bring corpses back when the song ends. I'm having the jukebox in a secure location in the executive sector. It should never have been accessible to low clearance staff in the first place. The new location security and proximity to a high traffic area will prevent misuse while still allowing for expedition teams to access it when required. See me for any further details. Guess the song ended. Good timing. Debrief for Mirror Excursion 7C. Subject is Agent Hardy. Hardy spent approximately three hours in the mirror. It's the longest time on record. Can you describe your experience inside Agent Hardy? <laughs> Agent Hardy is physically healthy. All tests have come back clean. Yet the speech issue has persisted for hours. Calm down, Agent. It could be psychosomatic, but the fact that this only occurred after returning from the mirror makes a paranatural explanation more likely. I recommend a battery of tests and a class orange quarantine. That's not good. this mirror up. I wonder what the girl was doing with this thing. Well, it's cleansed now. This is gone. Should be an error. The record staff. There you are. Did you uh, did you find those rangers at the formation? Found them. But it's not good news. The hiss got there first. Lots of them. Oh, another dead team. Jesus. You know I should have seen this coming. The formation. It's got like a a pull to it. Things just end up there. I'm sure you saw all the junk from the bureau lying around. There were a lot of hiss, Arish. I mean, a lot. Did they get pulled in too? Hmm. Or they forced their way in. The formation is just a big question mark to us. But who knows? You might even find some useful stuff down there. All I know is, we cannot let the hiss get comfortable. Sounds like you have a plan. Uh-huh. A simple one. 
You need to find more tokens and clear the hiss the fuck out of the formation. That is simple. Oh, and I found a file on the formation while you were gone. You take a look for yourself if you want. A lot of the terms in there are way beyond me. <laughs> I don't like to overcomplicate these situations. When in doubt, fuck it. Shoot something, right? <laughs> Real helpful, Arish. <laughs> I try. I'll see you later. You know where I'll be. Hello? Anyone here? Guess not. Do we know each other? I feel... this feels familiar. I can't seem to... I, I've forgotten it. I'm sorry. I'm... My name is Alan Wake. friend Tom. Tom Zane. There's nothing to worry about. Tom. The poet. The diver. You, you look different. That was just a, a role. A character. The protagonist I played in my, my old film. I'm a filmmaker. An auteur like yourself. We're working on this together, remember? An artistic collaboration. You need a drink. writer? He disappeared years ago. It was all over the news back then. And Thomas Zane was with him. The poet. No, wait. D -d -d he was a filmmaker. I, I always remember that wrong. Dr. Emil Hartman, devoured by hungry darkness, became the thing that had been Hartman. Broke loose. Killed everyone it could. Lurking, roaming, waiting. Then something else came. A resonance. The thing that had been Hartman went through another change. The third thing. The sound made darker, the darkness made louder. Hartman was stretched like a worm through time. The third thing was a monster. Now we crashed out of darkness toward Faden. Agent Fisher, day six inside the motel. Utilized surveillance methods are as follows. Fiber optic cameras slid under the individual room doors. Motion detectors in the lobby area. 
Tripwire triggering a flash camera across the main entrance, even fingerprint powder on the front desk. Results are varying at best. But mostly just inconclusive and unusable. The footage is corrupted. Sometimes even the equipment is damaged. I don't know how exactly. I uh I think this place is making fun of me. That's the only explanation. I can hear them laughing and screaming behind the closed doors. I can hear the call bell going ding multiple times a day, but when I look, there's no one there. I know I'm supposed to stay out of sight, but I've seen the doors closing just before I can catch even a glimpse of anyone or anything. They're messing with me, whoever they are. I think... Wait, shh. There's something. I gotta get this... Gotta get the cable out. Come on, you fiber optic fuck, cooperate. Okay, there we go. Alright, that was faint, but I definitely heard coming from the hallway. I think I might have finally caught one. Ha! <laughs> the recording better work this time, or I swear to God, I'll. What? Hello? Who's there? Oh, shit. I'm with the FBC. Move away from the door. I have a... Where's my... My understanding of the darkness is fragmented, incomplete. This abyss, this void, it very much does not wish to be understood. If light symbolizes knowledge, then it stands to reason that darkness would equate to ignorance. By its very nature, it abhors comprehension. Of course, my own nature drives me to comprehend all. We are opposing forces, destined to collide. And given this conflict of natures, we know that the light of truth will burn away the darkness, both figuratively and literally. Any significant light source can be used as protection, even weaponry against this metaphysical gloom. And then there are the artists, I know for a fact that Tom, Wake, the Anderson brothers, and Lane all had some involvement with the darkness. The question is whether their uncanny ability to affect reality through their art beckons the darkness, or did their work perhaps even create it? With Wake now secure in my lodge, I expect I shall grow closer to learning the answers to these questions. Assuming he cooperates, which is proving quite the challenge. Well, perseverance is the foundation of knowledge. Speaking of, I must be off on my rounds. It's 
me, Jesse. I know. I can see you on the monitors. The cameras in there haven't worked since we sealed that sector off a couple years back. Let me guess. You sealed it because of the monster guy. Wait, did you see Dr. Hartman? Jesus, I really wish you hadn't opened that firebreak. Okay, listen, you need to find Hartman and kill him before he gets out into the Bureau. That thing is a person? He was a person. We brought him here to study after he was, uh, oh, altered in an AWE. I forget the medical word for what happened, but now light physically hurts him. Do you have a flashlight? No. Uh, a lantern? Headlamp? Boy, a flare gun? Oh, Christmas lights! You could wrap them around your- I don't have any of those, Langston. Shit. Okay, uh, well, I'm sure you'll think of something. I'll keep an eye on you from the Panopticon. This is kind of exciting, right? Maybe from where you're standing. Right, okay, well, uh... Break a leg. Oh, why did I say that? Okay, this Hartman thing can't have gotten very far. Let's go flush him out. Hmm. Langston was right. This is kind of exciting. It's just nice to have someone to talk to, you know? Ever since I got put in charge of the Panopticon, people treat me different, like I'm crazy for wanting to work with altered items. People just don't understand the altered items like I do, you know? I don't want to brag, but it does take a very empathetic mind to connect with the items. Doesn't Still, want I don't to brag. know why people are making it so personal. <laughs> right. I mean, the teams in research handle paranatural materials every day, and no one thinks they're weird. Well, maybe that's not true. Darling is famous for being a bit out there, but when he's weird, it's charming. Altered items really aren't that frightening once you get to know them. If you figure out what they like or don't like, you know, what sets them off, then there's nothing to worry about. I guess at the end of the day, we're still just wild animals scared of our own shadows. We're supposed to be on the same team, but sometimes it feels like it's every department for themselves, like it's a race and we're all trying to be number one. If it is a race though, I'd say Darling is a mile ahead of everyone else. He was Trench's golden boy for years, but that relationship has gotten pretty tense, or so I've heard through the grapevine. Not that I spread rumors, just, you know, people talk. Not me though, I keep my nose to the grind. Too much work to do to focus on those kinds of things. I need to stay focused so I can get my work done and get home to feed Alfred. He's of just course, gonna talk forever. I always really. make it home for mealtime, so I have my neighbor check in on Alfred at 7 o'clock if I'm not back yet. She's very nice. Her name is Maria. She's older. She came to New York in the 50s to attend school and has been here ever since. She has a couple of kids. I met them at Thanksgiving. Big family. Very nice people. Anyway, she has a key to my apartment, and she gives Alfred his dinner if I'm not home. I'm gonna have to buy her a nice fruit arrangement as a thank you after this. I'm missing a lot of Alfred's meal times. She's probably gonna have to go to the store for more rock food. I'll have to remember to pay her back. Hold on, let me make a note. Pay back Maria for Alfred's food. Okay. Oh, one more thing. And buy her a fruit arrangement. All right, done. Are you a cat person? I don't think I ever asked. You seem like one, though. You'd like Alfred. He's very proper, really carries himself well, you know? I named him after my favorite poet. Felt like a good fit. I got Alfred just before Sylvia died when I was at the... Huh. You know, I don't really remember where I got Alfred from. But, boy, those two did not get along. Oh, oh, oh no, no, no. Sylvia thought she owned the place. Did a thing in her way, scratched me more than once when I was just trying to move her food bowl. That cat was a real asshole. Wow. I'm realizing now that that That's language was harsh. not entirely, um, professional. You see, Sylvia didn't tolerate most people, or animals, or anything. And that's what I meant when I said asshole. I would never use that word about a person. It was just, uh, you know, uh, hey, there's a light flashing on the console here. I got to, uh, check this out. I'll get back to you later. Real smooth, Langston.
One last place for him to hide. Lots of dark corners to hide in. Okay, let's get the lights on and clear him out. just came through here god he was hideous he tore the security door into the bright falls awe site wide open he was so ugly like wow i got a good look at him and christ he does not look like he used to the hiss must have messed him up or something he he, he looks like a a bar rag that's been twisted by the world's strongest man or a monster from some 80s horror movie you know back when it was all practical effects Ugh, nasty Real did you say something Winston. remember i can't hear you Never mind, just go after Hartman. Ah, oh, so disgusting. I've written, rewritten. The darkness wants to hide the past and make me lose my way. I trust what I read on these pages. I wrote them for a reason. Cut through the reality, tear it apart, and rewrite it. They are drawn to the mystery. I've forgotten again. I had a plan. I know it. I've forgotten. Whatever is going on with Wake, he clearly needs some help. Going in bad. Wake had to escape, right? His escape. Wake needed a hero. A hero needed a crisis. For the part in the story about the government agency, Wake needed something special. Something to convey an alien force mimicking human intelligence. Another replica, like the one they made for Ordinary. I wonder what happened here.
Hartman won't be a problem anymore, Langston. But Investigations needs someone to run it. Interested? I've seen what happens to Sector Heads, ma'am. No thank you. Ma'am, I'm getting something on my terminal here, an AWE alert from Bright Falls, Washington. But it might be a glitch. The date's all wrong, a couple of years in the future. And we're in lockdown, there shouldn't be any incoming signals. Maybe it was active before we went into lockdown? Are there agents on site? Let me check. Agent Estevez is the field agent in charge of monitoring the site, so she should be there to let us know if the situation has been through any major changes recently. something else. A helmet for a head. Is that what the prisoner meant? I guess there's only one way to find out. The head! River Chicken Station! <laughs> oh, far tastier. Press any button? So the helmet is what you're after, huh? Tubes, snug and grape, pure grapes. Hello, lady. You're welcome, I guess. Did Kirkland lock you up in here? Chief Trouble? Yes. Teddy's long around. But all routes and happiest. Can gather for goldfishes. No wrinkle. Okay. Well, sounds like you're doing fine in there now. Just make sure you don't go anywhere. Jelly. At least we help this guy. I think. Best we leave it locked up, though. We have no idea what it is, and we don't need any more problems out here. Even if it was a dream, I feel Darling reached out to me through the hotline. I have a feeling he and Trench won't be the only callers from the beyond. vacation spot. We need to check this out. So that etching is the door. Okay, let's try opening it. No time for sightseeing. The board said this was an emergency. Hmm. The crystals are coming pretty. Emily would be having a field day down here. My life's been a strange one. Certainly stranger than I'd like. But this place, it's something else. The floors crawl, the walls slither, it's a shifting pit. On the street, it's just another drab building standing there for anyone to see. But no one does. How did we miss it? Northmore. Acting director in Northmore now is on a train from Washington. 
They'll expect answers, which is why I'm making these tapes. They're evidence that I'm at least trying to understand. Father searched his entire life for something like this, and we find it one week after he's buried. He always hated irony. Of course, Father, the great director, Ash, would have been the first man in. And look at me, his bookworm son, the supposed head of research who can't stop his legs from shaking long enough to step over the threshold. The foundation. Bottom of the oldest hell. Stop the hiss. Marshall? How is she on the hotline? Unless... She's dead. Oh, Jesus. She seemed like the kind of woman who could survive anything. It's been five days since we first entered the building. Traversing the inch is dangerous due to the shifting, but we did manage to find a lower cavern that seemed structurally predictable, which is a scientific way of saying its walls won't crush us in our sleep. Northmore even made a discovery. A pistol placed on a stone pedestal in front of that strange ebony pillar. Seems like something out of a storybook, except the heroes usually find swords, not handguns. But it is the perfect lure for someone like him. Hours after finding this weapon, Northmore cornered me to spout some nonsense about how the board had made him the director. He ran it about the title being meaningless before now, calling Father and all other previous directors shams, frauds, and worse. I think this place is worse for Northmore than it is for me. Strangest thing? There was no pedestal in front of that pillar a day ago. This building has swallowed a dozen of my men, and now it's handing out presents? Is it playing some sort of game? If it is, we're most certainly losing. Hell, we don't even know the rules. can only choose one. <laughs> I thought I was done with these tests. Just doing my job. First one down. Director Faden's got this covered. Jesse, hey! Emily, how did she get down here? What are you doing down here, Emily? What do you mean? You called me down, remember? I'm pretty sure I didn't. No, that's right. You didn't. But then, I remember you needing me to come here. I mean, you even told me how to get in. Let's just chalk it up to synchronicity so we can get to work. She takes everything in stride. The board called me down here to deal with the situation. The astral plane is colliding with our world, I know. Isn't it fascinating? I never even considered that the astral plane could be a, a physical volume expanding beyond its dimensional container. The bleed is of this area, but its growth rate seems steady. Given time, it will consume the entire Bureau. And possibly beyond. That's what I'm here to stop. The board told me to fix the nail over there by dismantling four locks in the astral plane. Funny, I think it's put itself back together a bit. So that could be due to the law of inverse exchange. For every associated component you remove, this nail reconstructs. Or possibly some variation of anti-sympathy. Don't worry, I'll look into it. Did you notice all the Bureau infrastructure? 
It looks like there was a research team stationed down here at some point. You think Darling knew about this? I'd put money on it. That reminds me. Have you seen Marshall? She contacted me over the hotline, but then I saw her walking around. I haven't seen her. The hotline only connects to extraplanar entities. Or dead people. But Marshall's proved time and time again that she's a survivor. That's exactly what I thought. Anyway, I've been looking into the minerals growing down here. Have you noticed they insist on maintaining a certain form? Maybe some sort of a, a state memory, or they consciously prefer a certain shape? Or... I think we're on a clock here, Emily. I need to stop the astral bleeding before it brings the oldest house down. See what you can find out from the nail in the meantime. And send out some rangers to look for Marshall. She may be in trouble. Will do, Jesse. If you see anything interesting, remember to take detailed notes. The Rangers have tapped into an old radio network they found around the Foundation. So if you need backup, just call them at one of the stations. How did the Hiss get into the Foundation? Same way we did, I imagine. But you need to remember that the Hiss are the embodiment of persistence. Their nature seems to be one of force, to find every possible vulnerability and exploit it. Their only goal is consumption. I'm sure there's plenty of goodies for them down here. The nail, for instance. If the Hiss could corrupt the nail, I'm sure they would have by now. It must not interest them in its broken state. They could be distracted by the numerous unknown paranormal materials I'm sure are lying around. These are the roots of the oldest house. The Hiss will find plenty of ways to make trouble. They're pretty good at that. So you've never heard of the Foundation, huh? I've never even seen the name referenced. Clearly, it's highly classified, but for what reason? The problem with these kinds of closed-off, hidden areas is that they were likely sealed for good reason. But now, no one is left to tell us what that reason was. Any guesses why the Bureau would hide something like this? I only know what I've observed. This place is spatially rigid, which means it doesn't shift like the rest of the oldest house. And before you ask why that is, I have to admit that I'm clueless. There's some signal interfering with my equipment, making it hard to get a clear reading. It's being emitted from the floor. Maybe I should have brought a jackhammer. The astral plane is already taking chunks out of this place, Emily. Let's not add to it. So let me get this straight. The astral plane is bleeding into the foundation. Correct. And that's happening because the nail is damaged. I'd say it's a bit more than damaged, but yes, that is my understanding. So, what's the connection between the nail and the astral plane? <laughs> it's a good question. See, I always pictured objects of power as strings between our plane and the astral. If the nail has a similar relationship, then maybe it's more accurate to think of it like plumbing. Now that the nail is busted, sewage is gushing everywhere. Not the prettiest metaphor. I should get back out there. Agreed. The astral bleed won't stop itself. It was nice of you to give me something the board wouldn't. What are you getting out of it? <laughs> so, I'm just supposed to believe you're a particularly charitable... Uh... Whatever you are? <laughs> Hungry? I mean, yeah, actually, I'd love a sandwich or something. That's not what you meant, was it? Are you part of the board? Or used to be? Okay, so you split because the board blamed you for... <sighs> Good 
Gotta be easier to play charades. Do I need to rescue someone? I don't know what I expected. Listen, this has been great, but I have to go. Thanks for your help, and, uh, stay out of trouble. <laughs> Is probably just trying to use me, but should I really trust the board? Jesse, you're back. So, did you find anything noteworthy? The original bureau expedition down here left so much interesting stuff behind, like their ID cards. I picked up a weird one, it's pretty old. Oh, wow, look at that! Yeah, I found a few ID cards myself. Or more accurately, the Rangers found them for me. Are you starting a collection? I'm going for the whole set. I kid, of course. But I suppose they are sort of like baseball cards, except for bureau stuff from the 60s. Hey, the one you found is different than mine. It looks like it's a higher clearance level. A rare one, then. Want to keep it, Emily? <laughs> yeah, I absolutely do. But I think you should hang on to it for now. High clearance access might come in handy. Sounds like you have something in mind. Guilty. See, I've been going through Dr. Ash's notes, or the ones I can find, anyway. Like Darling, he seemed to enjoy hiding his most relevant research. From what I gather, there is another floor beneath the warehouse with a special lab that requires five high-level staff members just to access. Here, take this. It's an old skeleton key. Something else the Rangers found. I give them five bucks for every useful trinket they bring me. I'm gonna assume this key is my ticket to that lower floor. And that super secret lab you mentioned. Bingo bango, as Dr. Darling used to say. Well, keep your eyes peeled for more ID cards around the warehouse. If Ash's notes are reliable, and I'm sure they are, then five is the magic number. They sure changed their tune all of a sudden. I'm overthinking this whole board former thing. They can sort out their own business so long as it doesn't get in my way. Obsessing over these problems is something Trench would do. But I've got my intuition. And you. The nail is almost repaired. You really do have a knack for this kind of work. Any progress with the nail? Of course. I've been busy with surface analysis. Its composition is remarkably similar to that of material found in the astral plane, but it alters itself between my observations. It's almost as if it doesn't like being examined. So the nail is from the astral plane? Not necessarily. See, if we assume that, we're suddenly facing a lot of new questions. How did something so large get out of the astral plane? How did it get inside the oldest house? Did a threshold bring it in? Did people? Maybe through the motel. Maybe it was always here. Hmm. Doubtful. Have you spent any time looking into the crystals growing around here? As if I could resist. The biggest question is where it comes from. A threshold? Or is it native to the Foundation? But if so, why doesn't it grow in the rest of the oldest house? The fact that they return to an earlier state when damaged is severely inconsistent with our reality's adherence to linear time. So either they're A, partially conscious, or B, organic elements that are foreign to and yet influenced by our dimension. The jury's still out. Have you learned anything about the crystals? I have a power that lets me stretch them. Huh. Yep. Any idea what Marshall would be doing down here? That information is on a need-to-know basis, Faden. <laughs> Sorry, I can resist. But honestly, I never had much interaction with Marshall. She only came to me when she was looking for Darling. 
But this is Helen Marshall we're talking about, the woman who single-handedly dealt with the Bergen PK at Wui. If she's down here, it's because she needs to be. Well, clearly she couldn't handle this one on her own. I'll see you later, Emily. Good luck. Take notes. My life's been a strange one. Certainly stranger than I'd like. But this place, it's something else. The floors crawl, the walls slither, it's a shifting pit. He's got in. Boom. The nail. Pile of smoking rubble. Marshall blew up the nail? What the hell was she thinking? I can't believe Marshall's brilliant plan was to blow up the nail. <laughs> and she thought I wasn't ready. What did you do? What is causing these tremors? I thought you could tell me. I completed the four rituals just like the board told me to. The astral bleed should have stopped. It has stopped. The nail is repaired. But we have a new problem. My analysis of the nail indicates that it is literally a piece of the astral plane. Or possibly a vessel containing the astral plane. Or both. Either way. Right now, both dimensions are vibrating at completely incompatible frequencies. The spatial friction they are generating is incalculable. It's going to destroy both planes. I messed this all up. Maybe Marshall was right to destroy the nail. I should have left it in pieces. No, then the astral plane would still be leaking in. Sometimes there's no right answer, Jesse. We need more information. No. I need to fix this, now. I'll just... I'll figure something out. No, we should really make a plan. The tremors are originating from directly below us, but we don't know what... Perfect. I'll head down and take care of whatever's going on. Just do what you can from here. Jesse, you can't just... I have to, Emily. I'm the director. This is on me. I told you we were gonna die down here! Bureau researchers... If you're not gonna listen to me, then you better go figure out how to stop this. There's no telling what could happen if the vibrations escalate. I'll see you later, Emily. Good luck. Take notes. I hope I know what I'm doing. Was just the top of the nail? How much deeper does the foundation go? Entry day plus 118. I have changed. Though it's hard to know how or why. I no longer need tools to detect the house's veins, to hear it breathe. 
I can feel its blood churning beneath my bare feet. I have added my own illustrations to the walls, trying to solve some mystery that the oldest house whispers to me. I have to avoid the it as I do so. They haunt me. I don't blame them. They're just following the pillar's orders. Even poor Adam doesn't seem to recognize me anymore. I've spent a long time contemplating the etchings of the tree and its roots. Did you know this city used to be a forest? I wonder if our oldest house wore a different face back then. Or if it was always here. A 21st century office building since time immemorial. In a place known future. Can it change its skin? Can it wander? I always thought the esoteric world was my father's, not mine. But here, in this sacred place, I finally understand his devotion and his awe. The crystals are growing like crazy here. It's almost like they're trying to stop me. Astral's like. Damaged. The board said it. When Marshall blew up the nail, the board attacked her. I don't fucking like it. Nobody We're else together. hears the house. Their ears are too full of lies. We were shown the way inside so we could help. But all we've done is fall victim to the same parasite. I should have seen the web earlier. The strands between Northmore, the, the gun, the id. What hope did we have? Thrown into this conflict beyond our comprehension. I decided to rejoin the Bureau in the upper levels to end my long absence spent in the Foundation. Northmore will be angry at me for disobeying him. That's just his way, but I don't care. I need to remain in the oldest house to help however I can. I doubt I can steer the Bureau back on the right course, but I have to try. How did I go so long without a purpose? Without devotion? I can hardly remember how it felt. I realize how grateful I am to Father for setting me on this path. I wish I could tell him that. Marshall? You're... alive. Soon you will no longer recognize us, or yourself, or him, or her, or them. Family is dead. The walls are broken, but... Yellow and red in the eye. God damn it. Inverted is made right. Fuckers, take everything. I am not letting you take this. Sorry, I wasn't here to help, Marshall. The nail is corrupted. That explains why the board wasn't answering what's causing the quakes. Marshall came down here to stop this. I should have been with her. I could have saved her. I could have saved everyone else. Fuck you too. Oh, I'll be sure to. Let's play it smart. They don't need to know I'm onto them. Not yet, anyway.
The nail is secure. The hiss can't touch it. I can't undo the astral bleeding in the foundation, but at least it stopped. Along with the seismic activity. You did it, Jesse. Did you ever find Marshall? I did. She's gone. She died thinking she'd save the Bureau. Not a bad way to go. I wasn't ready for this crisis. I didn't even see it coming. But I promise I'll be ready for the next one. I mean, what good is a director who can't hold her bureau together? thought I know how to handle things now that I'm the director clearly it's not that simple I need to choose a direction for the Bureau it should be one that serves our goals not the boards whatever those are I need to lead my way if it isn't my favorite director Now that this nail business is handled, I should probably be getting back to executive. But maybe I'll keep poking around. Just for a little bit. Has the nail been doing anything since we've restored it? Define anything. Anything unusual? Define unusual? Emily. Sorry, but the answer is a whopping yes. Now that it's whole, the nail is emitting a constant field of, well, think of it like low-level radiation. It seems to suppress any biological matter it encounters. This explains why nothing grows here and why the Bureau had to abandon the area. Prolonged exposure would certainly begin affecting neural processes. Wait, was the field created when I cleansed the nail? I considered that, but the nail's readings are quite different from the ones I recorded at the cleanse control points. I think the nail's field is purely of its own making. In fact, I think it would passively prevent any his corruption, like the HRAs do. Which makes me wonder what actually occurred when you cleansed the nail. I've been wondering about that myself. Did the board let the his corrupt the nail? Did they want me to cleanse it? If so, why? What do you know about Director Northmore? Well, uh, he was Director Trench's predecessor, and Northmore is famous for being the first board-appointed director. See, before he found the older directors were picked by committees of old men in suits, drinking cognac and smoking cigars or whatever. You know, standard, uninteresting methods. I think the word you're looking for is bureaucratic. Or antiquated. Regardless, Northmore was eventually forced to... Well, <laughs> we don't need to go into that. Strangely, the only two board-appointed directors left the position under uh, unusual circumstances. If the board appoints a director, then how do they retire them? I doubt they go out and buy you a gold watch. Sorry, Jesse, I, I didn't mean to imply that... Don't worry. If anyone's getting shown the door, it's them. What do you know about an entity named Former? I can't say I've heard of it. You got any details for me? Well, imagine a one-eyed bug thing. I think it was a part of the board, but then something happened and now it's... separate? Interesting. See, I always wondered if the board was some sort of entity or a group or conglomerate of linked consciousnesses, but this supports the group theory. Although it could have undergone corporeal exile. Too many unknowns to form a working hypothesis yet, but I can prioritize this matter in future astral dives if you think it's important. Fortune favors the prepared. Do it. I'm gonna keep looking around. 
I wish I could go with you, but I still need 30 hours of training before I can do work. We'll work on that. I took care of the Tomasi problem. Sorry, I forget he was a co-worker. Don't apologize. That wasn't the real Tomasi. He died when the hiss got him. You're right. I just didn't want to be insensitive. Sentimentality is a weakness in situations like these, Jesse. That's Bureau 101. I don't think Emily's in danger of being called sentimental. Well, I've got a bureau to run. See you soon. Yes, ma'am, Director Faden. Please, Emily. Not even as a joke. happen? Felt like a dream. Or maybe a bad movie. Another ID card. For a cartographer. Another one of those ID cards. Security chief. This ID card was for an excavation and from the layer of dust on this place, nobody swept here in years. Not even Ati. No way he'd stand for this. There's an elevator, which I'm sure is super safe. It worked. Now I just have to get on a rickety elevator that goes who knows how far down. This looks like the nail, only mini. document. Is this in some kind of code? I can't read a word of it. I should take this back to Emily and tell her I got into Ash's secret lab.
if it isn't my favorite director. I have a secret lab. Excellent. Please tell me everything. Spare no details. Uh, well, there was another cave. The walls were covered in paintings of eyeballs. The research seemed dedicated to studying a kind of... smaller version of the nail. It looked like the same material as the one up here, but just a different shape. Well, are you sure you didn't see any functioning prototypes? Or at least some schematics? I mean, Dr. Ash was a very accomplished engineer. None. Sorry. I did find this handwritten note. Wow. I had terrible handwriting. Never meet your heroes, right? That looks like a transcribed conversation between Ash and someone named F. Ooh. Oh, this is juicy. This'll take me days to parse out. Maybe weeks. Have you ever thought about taking a vacation, Emily? Are you kidding? This is my vacation, Jesse. Crystals, cave paintings, rust-filled sand. Hey, this place is a research gold mine. I'm gonna keep looking around. I wish I could go with you, but I still need 30 hours of training before I can do field work. We'll work on that.